Hello guys and welcome to my 11th uh, video on XHTML and CSS course and in this video we will continue with CSS properties and let's open our page1.html with notepad we will start from zero in this video so delete all that you have in your body and delete uh, also the code you have from the last video and let's type here um, body we're working with the body again and give it um, this time I'll teach you a new property which is the font family okay and let's give it Ariel let's type here some hello my name is Victor Victor let's save this let's give it some color or also to to the content color and let's give it a blue let's say remember uh, every time you and um, I don't know if I said it before in the other videos but remember that when you close some property you have to always end it with semicolon okay so here I end this and I end this property here that saved it and let's refresh this hello my name is Victor and blue and Ariel font family okay let's change this to see that it works the homa copy open refresh and uh, we don't see it uh, very clear but it changed to the homa okay so let's write here another new property for you to learn which is uh, word spacing that it's pretty uh, clear that what it does and let's give it a 5 pixel so word spacing gives a space between words as you see okay um, there's a space of 5 pixels now okay so we change we may change this to 10 let's change 10 and see that gets larger and then the space gets uh, wider uh, between the words let's go to another property which is called the line height line height okay line height uh, line height is the space between lines okay when you have a big text but we have only a phrase tiny phrase we have to copy paste this copy and paste and control V control V control V control V copy I mean save it open your browser refresh okay so now we have uh, two lines I want more I want at least three lines uh, control V control V control V control V save open this okay I have three lines now okay and um, I have three lines and I want space more space between them okay you see that they are almost uh, bumping uh, one over each other okay the one with the second and the second with the third I want more space between them so we type line height line height let's put some 20 pixels and let's see in the browser the result well we don't see much uh, we need more let's type 60 pixels and refresh and there it is
pixels okay so uh, 60 pixels is is this right here is the space between the lines okay so we can increase or decrease the space between them okay let's continue and learn other two new properties which are we used them before but not in CSS we use them in XHTML but we're learning how to use it and use them in CSS which are the um, italic uh, words uh, italic letters or uh, the bold okay so let's delete this and leave leave only the original phrase let's put this with the p tags inside p tags okay so this is not uh, this is now uh, a p and we're going to use the selector p to select that uh, let's open and close curly braces and inside this let's uh, imagine I want this phrase hello my name is Victor in in bold so I type font weight and bold uh, save it open the browser and here it is in bold okay and uh, let's go into another property which is font style and here we type italic semicolon save it open the browser and here it is we have uh, the phrase in bold and italic okay okay this is all for this video for you know now uh, some new properties on CSS and we will continue with CSS in the next video so if you have any questions uh, or any doubts about this uh, this uh, video just uh, send me a message or type your question in the commentary sections below okay guys see you guys later bye